So I recently did No Shave November, but thank God that's over though, because I really needed to shave my nipple hair. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but all my chest hair that's supposed to be like evenly distributed across my whole torso just like collectively decided to migrate my nipples. They're really hairy. Uh, you guys know those type of quotes that like you see posted on Twitter a lot that like sound a little deep if you're stupid, but like, they actually have no meaning at all. I saw one the other day, and it said, you like somebody for their attributes, but you love somebody for their faults. Like, really? <laughs> really? Like, I've never met a girl, I'm like, hey, I really like you, because you baked me a lot of cookies yesterday, but I love you because I found out about your rampant alcoholism. <laughs> band Imagine Dragons, pretty popular band, yeah. any fans in the house? Yeah. Uh, I don't like them. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a snob, so I think they're rather derivative and bland, but uh, as a way of showing my distaste, I refuse to imagine dragons, <laughs> as the band has recommended that we do. So like, when I come across the word dragon, I just can't even begin to perceive what it could mean. <laughs> it's getting really difficult to reread The Hobbit. <laughs> I live in the third building of Thompson, but my address isn't 3 Thompson or 03 or 003, it's, it's 0003. And I don't know why they have to put that many zeros in the address. Like, I already have a 3 on the address, and now there's three zeros. So that just makes me paranoid, like there's too many threes that I have to deal with. And like, what if my dad tries to send me mail, and he only writes 003? I'm not going to get it, it's just going to get sent to like James Bond's weaker counterpart. <laughs> but I, I do like Wes. Uh, another complaint I have about it though is, I was, I was in a dining hall, they have ice cream cones. Last year they just had the cones. This year there's wrapping on the cones. And I, I don't like that because the best part is to, when you eat the cone with the ice cream, right? So now I have to unwrap the cone. And like, when I thought about that, I realized that was the worst part of my day, and I never felt like such white male guilt. <laughs> privilege, because, like, that's the thing I have to worry about. I thought maybe, like, I should email the residence coordinator about it, just to see what they would say. Like, hi, Ethan, thanks for your email. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> So I don't really like um, when I'm on Facebook and I see that girls post statuses like doing laundry, hashtag wife material, or like <laughs> making dinner, hashtag wife material, because I kind of just feel like that's stuff you have to do to be a human being. <laughs> like, you're pretty much just saying you're functioning okay. <laughs> like, uh, it's like me saying like, took a shower today, hashtag wife material. <laughs> I shower on the bridge. <laughs> I don't understand it. And like, I just really want to see wives, like on Facebook, actually posting wife material stuff. So like, you know, made my husband clean the gutter in negative 20 degree weather. Hashtag wife material. Or like, he thought we were gonna have sex tonight. LOL. Hashtag wife material. And um, I don't know, I don't know why girls my age are doing this because I've never met a guy my age that's like, yo, I'm trying to find a wife. <laughs> Science uh, says that there are an infinite number of universes. And each, each one has like a slightly different version of reality. So, somewhere out there, there's a universe where my wedding vows consist entirely of the whisper song. <laughs> and I will stay with you forever. My 
darling, my love, my life. Some people are offended by the way that I talk about women, but there's one takeaway I want to make sure you have clear. Women are like jellyfish. They're elusive, they're beautiful, and I don't understand how they pee. <laughs> I don't understand women when they're speaking Spanish. <laughs> trying to explain their anatomy to me. But, I mean, obviously, interacting with women is, is way easier than a lot of people would say. One thing that's stupid is pickup lines. And I'm, I'm shit at them because I can remember the beginning, but then I'll kind of forget the end and have to bullshit my way through. So it's, you know, I just go up to a girl at a party. Hey, did you fall? Uh, did you fall from heaven? Because you look like you fell really, really far. I'm kidding, you're beautiful, never change. Uh, you know, if it's a more hip happening party, you'd walk up and go, Hey girl, are you Rick James? Look, Rick, if it's you, just use it. <laughs> so, the only attention I really get from guys is when I'm getting catcalled, and I just don't like that at all. You know, when you're just like, I feel like it usually happens when you're walking somewhere, and a group of guys will just drive past you in a car and be like, hey, nice ass, and then go off into the sunset. <laughs> and, and it just got me thinking, you know, has this always been a thing? Like, even before cars were invented, were men in the 18th century just like yelling degrading shit at women from horse-drawn carriages? <laughs> My lady, you're looking like the cat's meow in that corset. <laughs> I'm a Samson! <laughs> Samson's the horse. Um, and I feel like that's why cars were invented, you know, not out of necessity, but just to like make catcalling more expedient? Because <laughs> what if a guy in the 18th century was catcalling a woman, and then he like mushes the horse, and then the horse just doesn't move, and is like, nah, dude, I'm about to make this shit super awkward for you. <laughs> so, I just want to start this to get rid of some confusion. This is my name. Uh, it is pronounced Evan, not Eden, nor is it Evan. Um, the reason I say this is I get a lot of questions about my name. Uh, specifically, did you mispronounce it? <laughs> to which I usually reply, yes, I meant to say Greg. <laughs> People say a lot of things, like, science is the devil's way of tricking you. Um, <laughs> and that might be true, and if it is, Let's just all agree that, that the devil is way smarter than God. <laughs> because, because God just kind of threw the world together in like six days. You know, he like cracked a beard and he's like, alright, let's get started on this light. <laughs> How long do you think it took the devil to create particle physics? <laughs> and then he had to just go around hiding all those dinosaur bones like, oh my god, these guys better appreciate this. <laughs> I think God's an easy target. <laughs> Mainly because he's everywhere. So I met this girl, you know, and I took her out for a walk. And somebody pulled a knife out on us. So I thought in my head, like, alright, here's my chance. Get her phone love. Show her how much of a man I am. So I took off running. I ran fast as shit. <laughs> I ran so fast in my life. Okay. Girls love athletes, not men. <laughs> I took
told you I don't like being a stag. Everything I say is not true. I grew up a mid 90s, early 2000s nerd. Like, I was the thing that you see on ABC Family. <laughs> I had the chairs pulled out from under me. I had the, uh, the fake, the, the being fakely wed to the class pet. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad. Um, I, had, I had milk dumped on me a couple of times. It was only flavored milk, though, not regular milk. I can still drink that, but... When, I, and when I'm in the grocery store, I get kind of a fight-or-flight response from the strawberry milk, and the response isn't always flight. <laughs> I'm not allowed in Giant anymore. It's just a picture of my face and it says, it doesn't even have my name, it just says, Dude Punches Milk. I feel like babies are a lot like poops. And that you really feel them in there. But you aren't gonna know what they look like. Until they're staring back at you covered in blood. <laughs> and they smell. My cousin, my cousin's gonna get married soon. Um, once she finds someone. <laughs> um, so my favorite thing to do with her life is to like log on to her marriage. <laughs> profile and just like look at the other lonely people in the world just for fun um, if you guys don't know what a marriage profile is um, it's essentially like so you put a picture of your face preferably your face um, you write like a brief description on there and then through some voodoo the computer system will like hook you up with someone and Robert like Menica that sounds a lot like a dating website no it's not <laughs> because when you do a dating website you expect it to fail. You literally go, you, you're at that point in your life where you're like, it's a dating website or I'm alone forever. And I'm sorry, it's probably gonna be both. <laughs> but with a marriage website, you're investing your life. Actually, Indian people, when they get married, they, uh, there's like a fire, and then they will walk around the fire, and for every circle they take around the fire, that's one lifetime that they're going to commit to the person. They do this seven times. <laughs> that, seven lifetimes. One time, se that's seven. <laughs> I would stop at half a circle and be like, you can go by yourself. <laughs> I don't know, people have been telling me lately, um, Sequels are never as good as the original. I think that's bullshit because World War II was way better than World War One. Right? <laughs> fuck trench warfare. Who's who's Franz Ferdinand? All right. I don't know. I, I I researched it, guys. Nobody knows. Okay. <laughs> Nobody knows why World War One started. The problem with these things too, with sequels, is like they're always trying to make it into a trilogy, like later on, and like it just doesn't doesn't work out. Never the same characters or anything. Like. Like, like, they're trying to, right now, trying to make World War III out in, like, Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> it's not a World War without Hitler, guys. Right? <laughs> Unless, I don't know, maybe they, like, they'll, re like, resurrect Hitler. Like, robot Hitler. That would be pretty cool. Uh, to be you guys probably don't know this. I, I quit smoking recently. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, clap it up, guys. Yeah. I always started the day before, but uh, I mean, it, people are always complaining about how tough it is. All right, it took me a day. <laughs> I mean, my my girlfriend right now, she's trying to quit. Um, that's why I started. I wanted to show her how easy it was. Um, <laughs> also, like a lot of emotional trauma from video games, uh, Mortal Kombat turns into like moral combat when you like start wondering yourself, should I really be ripping someone's spine out of their body just because they lost a kickboxing match? <laughs> like, I feel like that's just not right. Can you imagine if the UFC was like that? You know, Joe Rogan's over here. Oh, and Anderson Silva broke his leg. It is all over. Finish him. Whoa! <laughs> 
Let him live, for God's sake. He's a human being, not a horse. <laughs> I just recently found out that a group of ravens is called an unkindness. It's an unkindness of ravens. Seems arbitrarily judgmental. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Whoever did that. I feel like that says more about the guy who did that than ravens. Because ravens aren't like anything really. But like, the guy who did that, he's got some stuff going on, right? You don't just, you don't just do that. Like he has something going on. If I was, you know, if I'd been there when that guy named Ra also, yeah, if I'd been there and he was like, let's call it an unkindness, I'd be like, hey dude, you okay? <laughs> how's home? How's your home right now? Like, how's your family? Is everything good? Like, if I was, you know, if there was a couple going out on a safari and the wife was like, look, an infidelity of giraffes. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're called. <laughs> the argument they typically use against me is they go, religion's just a bunch of false hope. That's all it's about. It's just false hope. Uh, bullshit. Growing up Catholic, never had any hope. <laughs> I paid attention at church, okay? It was very clear in, in between the lines that I was definitely going to hell. <laughs> I'm definitely going to hell, and my family's definitely going to hell because, you know, it wouldn't be hell without your family. Uh, my dad has bipolar disorder, and uh, I always smile when I'm talking about it because it, it's just been such a fun ride uh, growing up with that. It's been, uh, like, my therapist uh, describes certain events that involve my dad as uh, episodes, but I'd say that's a misnomer because the stuff that happened is way more entertaining than anything I've seen on TV. <laughs> like this one time, my dad, he got really mad at his neighbor and he got, so he went down in the basement and he grabbed his chainsaw. And yeah, like normal kids would be scared in that situation. They'd be like, dad, put away the chainsaw, come on. <laughs> Me and my sister are normal kids. We just kind of made the problem worse. We kept egging him on. We were like, Dad, who are you going to hurt with that chainsaw? <laughs> That's an electric chainsaw. Come on, you don't even have an extension cord. You can't get that out of the room. What are you going to do? Go to the, I'm going to fucking kill you. You got some for me to plug this in? <laughs> Dad, if you really want to hurt someone, you got to get one of those big-ass gas-powered chainsaws. You know, come on. So then we ended up going to Sears to look at chainsaws. <laughs>